Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss an example for the limits and the continuity. Given the function is equals to 2x minus 3 over bracket x minus 1 bracket x plus 3, find the domain of f. So given the function, we have linear as a numerator. For the linear cases, as we all know, the domain is negative infinity until infinity or we can say or real number for the denominator it is a quadratic and we can say it is not allowed to be equate to zero so x minus one cannot be equals to zero x cannot be equals to one for x plus three also cannot be equals to zero so x cannot be equals to negative 3. So the domain for the denominator would be negative infinity until negative 3. When negative 3 is not included, union from negative 3 to 1. Where both of them are not included, union from 1 until positive infinity where 1 is not included. This is the domain for the denominator and the domain for the numerator would be negative infinity until infinity. So notice that the function is a rational or we can say division. So for the function divide or the operation divide Actually, it is considered as intersect. So the domain for the denominator intersect with the domain of the numerator. So as we all know, if the situation is all real number, after we intersect, our final answer will be domain for f is equal to negative infinity until negative 3, union, negative 3 until 1, union, 1 until infinity where negative 3 and 1 is not included now let's refer to b find the x intercept and the y intercept so here is the notation for x intercept and here we have the notation for y intercept in order to find the x intercept we are going to substitute the value when y is equal to 0. So we can call it as x-intercept or we can say the root. So when y equals to 0, we will have 2x minus 3 over x minus 1, x plus 3. Now I'm going to cross multiply and we will have 2x minus 3 equals to 0. So x will be equals to 3 over 2. So the x-intercept or the root will be 3 over 2 and the y will be 0. Next, we are going to look for the y-intercept. So looking for y-intercept, we have to substitute when x is equals to 0. So f0 will be equals to negative 3 over negative 1 multiplied with 3. So finally, for f0 or the value of y will be equal to 1. So the y-intercept will be 0 for the value x and 1 for the value y. So now we are going to discuss the vertical asymptote of f so kindly refers to the domain so in here we have two vertical asymptote which is x equals to negative 3 and x is equals to 1 if we are going to discuss their behavior that will be the solution limit when x approaching negative 3 from the left for the function 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 bracket x plus 3 
So now we are going to substitute the value. So for this case, we have to assume negative 3 from the left. The suggestion value would be negative 3.0001. So if we substitute the value into the x, we will have negative 6, approximate negative 6. So we will have negative 6. Next, we will substitute the value x. We will have negative 3.0001 minus 1. And we will have a negative 4, approximate. Multiply with negative 3.001 plus with the 1 and we will have a value which is very small which is negative 0.0001 so if for this case limit when x approaching negative 3 from the left for the function fx and we will obtain negative divide by a positive value and we will have negative infinity next we are going to discuss limit when x approaching negative 3 from the right okay for the function 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 x plus 3 so for the value negative 3 from the right the suggestion value will be negative 2.999 and 9. So next, I'm going to substitute the value. If we substitute negative 2.9, we will have a value approximate negative 6 as well over, if we substitute the value, negative 2.9 into this part, actually, we also get approximate or around negative 4. If we substitute the value negative 2.9, 9, 9 and 9 into here, we will have a positive value. So which will be 0 0.0001. With the help of the calculator, so we can estimate the value will be very big. So limit when x approaching negative 3 from the right for the function fx, negative 6 divided by negative 4 we will have a positive value. Multiply with a very small positive value. Sorry, divide with a very small positive value and we will obtain a positive infinity value. So that will be their behavior when they're approaching three, negative 3 from the left, which is a negative infinity, and from the right, which is a positive infinity. That is the behavior when the value x approaching negative 3 from the left and right. Next, we are going to focus on 1. Limits when x approaching 1 from the left for the function 2x minus 3 over x minus 1, x plus 3. So a suggestion value for 1 from the left. So the value would be 0 0.999 and 9. So if we substitute a positive value, so we will have around 2. Okay, approximate 2 minus with the 3, so we will have a negative 1 over. If we substitute the value over here, 0 0.9999 minus 1, and we will have a negative value, which will be negative 0 0.0001 around. Next, we are going to substitute the value over here. So, approximately, we will have 4. 
So with the help of the calculator, we notice that limit when x approaching 1 from the left for the function fx, we will have negative 1 divided by 4, we will have a negative value. And then divide with another negative 0 0.001 and we will have approximately positive infinity. Next, we are going to discuss limits when x approaching 1 from the right for the function 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 x plus 3. A suggestion value for 1 approaching from the right. So the value would be 1.0001. So if we substitute, we will have 2.001 minus with the 3 and again we will have negative 1 approximately negative 1 if we substitute this value negative 1 then we will have a positive 0 0.0001 again if we substitute we will have approximately 4 so with the help from the calculator limits when x approaching 1 from the right for the function fx, we will have negative 1 divided by 4, we will have negative value and then divide with 0 0.0001 and we will have a negative infinity. So here is the behavior. When x approaching 1 from the left, we will have positive infinity. And approaching from the right, we will have negative infinity. So these are the behavior when they're approaching the negative 3 from the left and right. And also for the positive 1 from the left and right.